All right, we are in the Cybertruck full self-driving 13.2.9. I want to talk about some recent news. And the recent news is about Luminar. And if you don't remember what Luminar is, well, look how close I'll get to this. All right. Let's see if I can get out. I'm still fairly close up here. What else see. It usually takes a long time to react with 13.2.9. It seems quicker, but we are still struggling in this little scenario. It's it's definitely quicker. It's a lot quicker. And it still can struggle. Okay, so it's not perfect, but that, that was still pretty good. Uh, with 13.2.8, we would have never got out of that parking lot. Yeah. So Luminar... The CEO, oh, forced out, ousted, whatever you call it, he's gone. And uh, if you don't remember Luminar, that is the company that Mark Rober got into. And uh, he made a video about Tesla, uh, I mean, Luminar's technology, what is it called? Uh, LiDAR versus uh, Tesla's vision only and he did that famous the infamous Wild E Coyote test where he keep he completely fabricated the test and he presented it as real findings and he calls himself an engineer so yes that Mark Rober and he claims that there was no money exchange okay so maybe there was no money. He's still friends with uh, Luminar CEO. Um, I'm assuming it's the same guy. I don't know for certain, but the, the CEO of Luminar got ousted. And uh, for ethics inquiry, I wonder if he's involved. And uh, okay. So Mark Rober made the video around around the time that uh, Luminar had shares. I mean, when they uh, got introduced or started going public and selling shares. And so what's interesting is Mark claims that there's no... Um, they weren't paid to do it. So maybe he wasn't paid directly. You know, YouTubers, they find all sorts of ways to get paid because it is in their nature, it's in our nature, if you're a YouTuber, that's, you, you want to get paid, and you're going to find ways to get paid, and, and I'm not saying that there's any insider trading or anything of that nature, I'm just saying that it's a possibility that he could have bought pre-market share for very cheap, and I remember it going up to $6, um, it did get a substantial boost, because of that video which is a complete lie and fabrication by the way and he could have just dumped the share I'm just saying that it's it's a possibility I'm not saying that he did it but he could have done it considering that he's a big liar and fraudster oh yeah that I could say because he did lie and he is a fraudster so uh yeah so now the CEO is ousted for ethics inquiry, and the stock is down to four dollars. It was six dollars at the time, something around that. So uh, vision is not needed. You you can just use lidar. Lidar is better technology. And uh, oh, what are you doing, car? This is this is absurd. You cannot go here. Oh my, oh my, the car is getting ruthless. The car is getting ruthless, but you know, I just let it have its fun. Just don't get me pulled over by some police officer. And I put it on standard too. I'm not sure why it's it's rushing. Just chill, just ch chillax. Uh, you're not supposed to be driving like that in chill mode. Okay, so anyhow, we'll, we'll just go, just let it have its fun. 
Yeah, so uh, vision only. And you can get it done with vision only. You don't need to have LiDAR. You don't have to lie in your videos. You can still be very well liked even if you didn't lie. It's, it's all right. And considering he's like a father of some kids, he should really get over having like a super big ego on this type of stuff. And I don't know, I, I just see it just kind of wonky that people are still like that, but whatever. People are going to be people. Not judging. Right, and uh, there we go. We are off the freeway. We are on to make a left turn right here. Is it? You know, not a very smart move car, um, full self driving. We could have looked, look at this car next to us. You see that? Humans. Better. Humans. They don't make this mistake of going into this lane and getting trapped like this. They're still going o over that lane. And that's the lane that we have to go to. Okay. You see that? We have to make a left up there. But this car insists on doing it the way it wants to do it. So, uh, there. There we go. Alright, uh, okay, so just on my feed, uh, let me see, there was, uh, something else I wanted to share while we wait for this light. Uh, Optimus female version? Uh, nah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I want a robot to nag at me. So let's see, uh, is there anything? Okay, a video of someone sleeping in their car once unsupervised. <laughs> it's my Tesla, of course, yes, that is going to be. That is, that's gonna be the day. And, uh, you know, I didn't show it in the last video, but here's the 86 hands guy. Yeah, unfortunately, he has, he, I mean, he has no arms, and it's it's very difficult for him without full self-driving. He just, he needs it. Okay, so there was a, one other thing I, I just, oh, it was a shirt. It was a darn funny shirt. <sighs> Nick Cruz Patain. Need money for Cybertruck. <laughs> that, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I didn't need money for this Cybertruck too. I just gotta pay it off. I do wish to pay it off soon this year. It's gonna get paid off. I, I just cannot stand that. Oh, here we go. This was, it was related. Okay, so there is a video. Uh, ho hopefully there is no audio uh, yeah there is audio I, I gotta keep it down because there might be yelling okay. okay so here is a video and is this Tesla full self-driving all right merging because there's emergency cones and there's a truck next to it emerges here's Huawei Huawei is big over there and uh, it looks like it's hitting the cones to be honest I, I you, you can't tell from this angle but it feels like it's hitting the cones okay here's the side view of it right here and it indeed hits the cones so that's lidar for you it, it doesn't mean that you're you're absolved of problems you still have to have some sort of smart engineering in that you recognize these items and not hit these items the lidar can see it but it's still hitting it so what gives that's right it's all about intelligence the system has to be intelligent enough to use that information and identify maybe this isn't um, maybe it's not that safe to hit and if you're driving on the freeway and hitting freeway speeds and you're hitting cones on the freeway that could be a, a disaster in the making and it it has before I mean there have been automatic systems like late this year right that in 2025 these automatic driving systems have led to 
deaths in China. You haven't heard of that about that happening in America. Because if that happens, especially with Tesla and the current climate, it would be all over the news. Everybody, along with everybody's mom, would know about it. And it's just not the case. So we are making a right turn right now. Um, is there anyone behind us? I do feel kind of odd that we're not moving. It should uh, creep forward, and it's not. I am about to slam on the accelerator because this is ridiculous come on come on so there's still this problem that sometimes it hesitates and then okay your brain is right is there okay let me see is there a sign that says uh, no turn on red or anything no there's no signs so what happens with the robo taxi when it gets caught up in one of these scenarios i mean it's just a right turn is it i mean at the green fine at the green light it would have went for sure for sure but at the same time I'm, you're, you're kind of holding back traffic but there's no traffic behind me but if there was uh, it would be honking it would it wouldn't be nice and it wouldn't be nice to just hold them back for because your self-driving isn't functioning 100 percent of the time and so it's a little mishap not the end of the world, but uh, it could use some polishing, and it happens from time to time. There's another one. What, what are we? Okay, it's a green light. It's, it's smart enough to figure out this green light. Well, what? You, it did. It did one of those turn left turn. So it does that when it feels like it might hit the curb, and usually I only get that for right turn. I mean for left turns not for right turns and so uh, maybe that is a step backwards because usually on the center columns that's where it tends to do this to avoid hitting the column uh, the divider and from my testing so far the left turns is massively improved there's still an issue and the issue is when there's no other cars around for context driving it tends to turn in the wrong lane. That's with no other cars around. With context driving, it'll, it'll turn in the right lane. It'll just follow the other car. And uh, that's usually a good thing. But could be wrong too. Okay, here's another right turn. Are we gonna move? Yes, we are. So it's creeping forward. There's cars coming and going and uh, none are going into this lane. So this is good to go. That's not very difficult, it's just that the car has to be decisive and it can't, uh, you can't be waiting because there could be other vehicles behind you. And, uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about LiDAR? Is it necessary? I don't really think so. I don't think so. Intelligence is more necessary than than the, the radar system. And you, you just think about it at night, I mean. you At night, you could fumble around, but you can always find your way, right? Even with like no lights or very low lights, you can find your way, I mean. I know that I can't hold my bladder through the night and I have to you know, use the restroom and it's right there and I can find it. So, uh, you don't need vision, you need intelligence. I mean, you need vision too, but intelligence is highly important. And if you can figure out your way, if you have a really smart system, then even the least of technologies, you can find your way. Well, look at this, it's very smart. And uh, I'm going to go a little bit faster so I can get this parking right here. Ah, uh, yeah, 
about that car. Yeah, I had to break that because uh, it was just too crowded, and I, I'm not gonna trust that person from not hitting me. I mean, that the guy was just like in a super rush. I didn't wanna. You don't wanna lose parking here. <laughs> You're at Costco. You have to fight for your Costco parking, and unfortunately, I had to park by myself. I do want to show that uh, the parking is generally pretty good ever since this update. It's gotten a little bit faster. It still can use a uh, improvement in that area. Anyhow, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Take care.